Welcome. Let's talk about the change of base rule for logarithms. This is something I simply cannot keep in my head. I do not memorize it, though many teachers will have their kids memorize this rule. Uh, let me show you what I, like, what I do instead. Uh, suppose, for example, let's be specific and work with a problem. I needed to know what log base uh, 3 of 5 was, to say two decimal places. Um, if I was just being a mathematician and I got this answer, I'd be very happy and content with that. But suppose I'm actually an engineer and I need this number to actually build my bridge to two decimal places. What can I do? Well, if you go to your calculator, find they don't have a log base 3 button. They have a log base 10 button instead, which is just called log. So somehow I need to get this expression in terms of a log I can handle on my calculator and, uh, and go from there. So what do we do? Well, my advice to kids is don't memorize anything. See if you can just nut your way through it. Okay, I'm dealing with log base 3 of 5. How would I nut my way through this? Well, it's hard to sort of uh, get a handle on it. Um, and when you don't have a handle on something, my advice is to generally name it. Let's give it a name. Let's call it Frank. And let's just play with this expression. All right, f is the power of 3 that gives the answer 5. Uh, if you look at the logarithms video, I explain why log is a terrible name for this. We should be using the word power. But in any case, if you think of powers, f is indeed the power of 3 that gives the answer 5. So let's play with this instead. Well, to calculate, I've got log base 10. So let's do it with the log base 10. So log of 3 to the f would have to be log of 5. Uh, logarithms are the wonderful property that they bring shake exponents down. f times log of 3 is log of 5. So f is actually log of 5 divided by log of 3. That's what I needed. There we have it. The expression log base 3 of 5 is actually log base 10 of 5 divided by log base 10 of 3. This I can put on my calculator and get my answer. I actually don't care what the answer is, so I'm going to leave it at that for now. So that's basically how one proves the change of base logarithm rule. And I think the rule goes more generally um, log base, I don't know, uh, a of c is actually log base b of c divided by log base b of a. So if I give you something that's in a base you don't like, I chose base a, uh, the rule says, well, you can write it in any base you like, base b, as long as you follow this particular quotient. And it's not hard to prove that. As before, give this quantity a name, let's call it, I don't know, Georgina this time, and just play with Georgina, hitting both sides with the log base b. Um, there are some nice fun things one can do with the change of base rule. Uh, while I've got it on the screen, let's just uh, create some really funky rules that, uh, you know, if I was a very pedantic teacher, I'd ask my kids to memorize, but of course I'm not that kind of teacher. For example, let's discover a rule for log base b to the nth power of x. Well, let's just use the change of base formula. Uh, if I don't like the base b to the n, I'm going to choose the base b instead. So the change of base rule says, choose the base you like of the number x, but divide it by the base you like of the base you had before, b to the n. But this denominator is easy. What power of b gives the answer b to the n? Clearly n. So I've now discovered the rule log base b to the n of x is 1 nth of log base b of x. It's kind of funky, kind of cool. Great. Uh, let's just do another rule just for the fun of it. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Clear my screen. Let's go to red this time for fun. Uh, what about just, whoops, where's my pen? Log base A of B. Well, if I decide I like log base B instead, this will be log base B of B over log base B of A. The numerator, what power of B gives the answer B? Well, 1. Log base B of A. So this is kind of funky. Log base A of B is the reciprocal of log base B of A. Cool. Uh, let's try something else. Let's go for a different color, maybe green. Uh, how about this one? I claim log base 1 b of x is actually the same as log base b of 1 x. That looks very strange. Now, why would that be true? Well, let's start with the left and change the base. This expression on the left, I would like to have base b instead. So I would have then that log 1 b, base 1 b of x is actually log base b of x divided by log base b of 1 b. Well, log base b of x, the denominator here is negative 1. So this is negative log base b of x. Let's bring the exponent upstairs. This tells me this is log base b of x to the negative 1, 1 x. Kind of cool. Um, I'll leave two little challenges for you to play play with. I wonder if you can use the change of base formula 
to prove the following. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, where's a nice color? Let's go with red. I claim, oops, sorry, log base A of B times log base B of C times log base C of D times log base D of E equals, hmm, I have an A that's not paired up and I have an E not paired up. I claim this equals log base A of E. Can you prove that? And I did a product of four logs on the left. I claim this rule actually works for any number of logs. And if you want something really strange and mysterious, can you prove that A to the log base 10 of B is the same as B to the log base 10 of A? So there's two mighty fine little challenges for you to play with, all coming from the change of base log rule. Fabulous. Thanks so much.